Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dragon Quest VIII. We've got a little prep to do before we continue on our way. <clears throat> it has been a week. We are no longer at Dragonvania. Dragovania, Dragovia, whatever. Dragonvania. Symphony of uh, annoyance. Anyway, um... I got more than I anticipated. I just kind of go until going wasn't going anymore. Um, did the grinding in the dragon dungeon graveyard? And uh, did that because Metal King Slam show up there? The enemies there have just about the same experience points as the ones at Dragovia, and um, they're a heck of a lot easier to kill. <clears throat> so, uh, good side, bad side, you know, kind of thing. Got a ton of dragon dung, because there's dragons in there. And a bunch of dragon scales, too, wherever they went. There, somewhere. They're there. Okay, so. We're going to... <clears throat> Excuse me. basically do all this setup all over again. Because I don't know what's waiting in the thing. The heavenly dais, dais, whatever. But I would kind of like to be prepared. Also, uh, about the time you start getting just on the inside of level 50, um, the skill points you get just plummet. Like, Jessica's been getting one. I think Yangus got two once in a, in a while, but yeah. No, thank you. We ain't gonna do that. The downside to doing the grinding in the graveyard is there are enemies in the Deus that will or or can not not will can drop um, seeds skill seeds but they don't seem to be very common enemies and they're not a common drop anyway so it seemed more efficient time wise to go somewhere else also we equipped triple with this metal spear and angela with the metal sword uh, did that because I wanted them to be able to do more damage to the metal slimes. So, Tribble took the spear and had that thunder stab thing, which basically is a critical hit. A uh, crit will kill a metal king slime. Yangus had the axe, which lets him do his thing for critical hits. And Angelo had the sword just to do damage. Uh, did we learn anything? Jessica learned Pink Typhoon, which is kind of sort of a dance attack that just does damage to all enemies. That's really been it. Oh, and Angelo's Cherub Arrow has upgraded to Seraphim Arrow. I don't have a map for here. Is there treasure here, Yangus? Oops. That was just muscle memory, that... My bad. Anyway, this is a Servant of Darkness. <clears throat> yeah, we still get hurt. A little bit. Just a little bit. I can't help but feel if we were just a little bit stronger. Take 
things out a little easier, but... Oh well. Do not whistle this time. Five treasures. I think there's one up there, or that's a rock. Uh, is that dead end? That might dead end. Let's go that. Oh, it was a rock. This is very Zelda. There's stairs up there. Maybe that's not where we want to go. This looks like it could be the way to go. Because that's going to go around and that way. Yeah, let's not go this way. Great trolls appear here, just like they do in the dungeon. This guy is a jerk. This Solaris fella. Um, he can call down comets like uh, Rapthorn did. They don't do it often. Still, I'd rather not keep them alive long enough to give them the opportunity to. Maybe that's just me being weird. Yeah, this guy can drop a skill seed. Um, it's a pretty rare drop, as is. Yeah, much more likely to get just a boring old medicinal herb. There it is. I'm lost. I've gone to one place and I don't know where to go. Do all roads lead to Rome? Is that what we're getting here? There's Belial's here. Don't love fighting these guys. Cause they do crap like. And I don't think they can be paralyzed. So I don't know why Jessica keeps using that. The annoying thing is they can go twice, so they can psych and then attack in one turn. I love that. I do like that everybody now has at least a somewhat competent healing ability. Tribble and Angelo can heal some an individual for full health. Tribble can heal the entire party for full health. Angelo can heal the entire party for part health. Genghis can heal one person for mid healing, and Jessica's got that Sage's Stone, so she can heal the entire party. Which she might do this round. I don't know, my, my feeling on it is, you know, I like that we can use the stone in battle and it heals without taking any MP, but we're going to have to heal after the battle anyway, so don't, don't waste a turn healing just to kill the thing. Maybe that's just me. And I could run. I don't want to run. 
so we got what 1500 experience points for that in the dragon graveyard we could have fought two battles got nearly that much experience in half time half the time with half the damage taken And in the Dragon Graveyard, there's Beezlebubs, little fly guys who can cast Kerplunk. And uh, Kerplunk will kill the caster, but heal everybody else. So you can actually get double the experience. So a Beezlebub with a King Metal Slime. Kill the King. That was uh, three more Belials. Anyway, you kill the King. Use items when able. Uh. Kill the King Metal Slime, leave the Beezlebub alive long enough to do, um, Kerplunk. That'll kill the Beezlebub. It'll revive the King Metal Slime. And if you can kill the King Metal Slime again before it runs away, you get double the experience point. What the heck was she doing over here? Were there always monsters like this over here? Is this a new thing? How does this chair work? Oh, I see a thing. That was a great troll and we got the drop on him. A dangerous bustier. Didn't we have a dangerous bustier already? Maybe not. Oh, that was the one that we. A whopping defense of one! Yeah, we combined that the thing to make that. Defense of 105. Defense one. Who? Who's the dude that's going to be watching this? I don't remember your name. I'm very sorry. There's a guy who's going to watch this. And, uh... Tribble is his avatar. I'll do this for you. There you go. Fairly certain we've seen that already. But just in case. That at it. Much better. Alright, now I guess we gotta go find the stairs. Unless there's something else here, I don't know. Map would be nice. The encounter rate doesn't seem... I was about to say, the encounter rate doesn't seem too high. When you don't run around and you just whistle, you don't notice things like... That was a pair of great trolls. Great troll, idiot. expecting but we found treasure you know I don't mind a Belial I don't love getting uh, three of them every time you know what I'm saying triple's got so much magic and it's only three to heal everybody plus we've got a ton of these, so I ain't too worried about having him cast spells to heal. Another mini metal. Oh boy. Hey, we could actually. Actually. Now I'm thinking about it. We might hop back to the castle, turn in our medals.
Oh, these guys. All right, dig this. Right wing, head of state, the body politic, and the left wing. Okay. What? That's not what he's supposed to do. It probably ain't gonna work now. We're gonna kill somebody. Remember how when we fought these guys previously they could like go Voltron? They almost always do it the first turn. If we run into him again, I'll I'll get it on screen. Because unlike the last uh, combinations, this one is actually kind of scary. Didn't know that he knew Zap. Head of state is the dangerous one here. You guys can wake up anytime. Anytime. There we go. Oh, now you wake up. One multi heal is ten. Four full heals is twelve and does a better job. Alright, we're gonna do it. We're going to zoom to the castle. Oh, we'll evac, and then we'll zoom to the castle. It's obnoxious. And then, uh, after we turn in our medals, um, I'll cut back to get in there. I think we're still gonna be maybe one or two short. I don't know how big an area the Dias is. Dias, Dias, whatever. But if we can get Yangus' best weapon, we'll go ahead and do it. I wish that slime wasn't right. Hello! Three more. All right. Well, there's five treasures in the Dias, and we got two, so that leaves three. So if the three that are still there are all mini metals, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'll see you when we get back to just in front of the stairs. on the back of a... Shouldn't we be on the back of a dragon or something? Isn't that how this is supposed to work? That's the noise those make, huh? Okay, game. Whatever you say. Yo, the boss. Looks like where we want to go, so let's go there last. Well, it's not three Belials. 
And I don't know what this Hell's Gatekeeper is about. Haven't ran into one of them before. Apparently the guys think that's who we need to target though. I know that's supposed to be like a, a Dullahan kind of thing, but really, the face on the shield is kind of stupid. Good, though. He can psych himself up. That's what I want. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it! Angelo, would you kill that Belial, please? That's not the Belial. <sighs> okay. That'll work, thank goodness. <clears throat> I don't love fighting these guys. I still like the design a little bit. They are a little cartoony. You know. Don't like them. did run into some trolls who uh, decided to do opening round two desperate attacks against Angelo and killed him. Too many medals to go. And that's as far as I can go over here, yeah? Yeah. If we get them, we're gonna leave. Whew, man, maybe we're, uh, still not quite there. If, if we get the other two mini medals, we'll leave, and then, just like last time, we'll come back. Yeah. I think it'll be worth it. I hope it'll be worth it. I want it to be worth it. One troll, three desperate attacks in a row, all of them hit. And Triple got healed once already in that fight. Because he got hit with two of the attack. How did these mini metals get here? That's not a mini metal. Stop talking to Coolio. Play the game. Be right with you, Coolio. We got wrecked. That was one troll and two Belials. So if this is a mini metal... No, that's a skull helm. Where's the other mini metals? Can you talk to me? Where are the mini metals? Weird textured dragon skull. I'm missing some. Pardon me, I'm just gonna run through your head here. <sighs> you know, I was feeling confident. Until, like, just now. That's kinda scary. Uh, I think it's time. Jessica's MP got used up so much she didn't cast any spells. Anyway...